Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Tac Team... Nables? Go on, you can try. What does your Nables? thumbnail say? Oh, I don't know. That was uh, an inside joke? <laughs> no, it was just an accident, but we're going to run with it. <laughs> run with it, it's good. Yeah. So yeah, we're Scottily. We're Italy. Italy Scottily. I don't know what we are. We were looking at the modifier for conquest or occupation of Rome. The diplomatic reputation, which is it's slowing down our annexation of Sicily, right? Mm -hmm. And it makes it difficult to do interactions with other nations. Like it's, it's like having a negative half a statesman. It's that bad. And it's permanent. The only way yeah. this goes away is if we form Italy. Or vassalize. We could release Rome as a vassal, but that's stupid. That would be dumb, yeah. We'd also have to make them cease to exist in order to be able to release them, so. Oh, I'm sure France will find a way to do that. Yeah. <laughs> of course, there is an event. Isn't there one where, um, like, Cleves or Hess or, like, some guy up north will release and just, like, create the papal state in another province? Yes, as long as they're an archbishopric, they can choose to le release the pope, yes. They have to have, like, an extra province available to give them, right? Mm -hmm. As nope. a capital? Nope. Like, if, if you look at Mainz, they're one province minor, they will frequently become the papal state. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So will... just because they're a bishopric, they're able to do it? Yep. They will give up their independence completely. All right. So um, we haven't played in a week, like, at all. Um, do you remember what we wanted to do with Savoy? Are we done with the relationship? Should we just get rid of it now? Because we're over by one? Um, yeah. Yeah, we might as well. I don't really behind. see any reason to keep him around. If if we keep him around, think, well, before we started today, we were talking that we wanted to take Milan as a vassal. To form Italy, we need Milan anyway. Might as well get him as a vassal. Mm -hmm. um, and he's allied to Siena. So we, we can't fabricate on Milan directly, but we can fabricate on Siena. So if we're going to be declaring on Siena, look who we fight. It's Savoy. So mm -hmm. we might as well break that relationship. Yeah, we've already got, surprisingly, we're able to rival Siena. I that might I, go I, away. Yeah, I don't even know how that's possible. We're huge compared to Siena. That, I think that'll go away soon. What's his base yeah. tax, though? He's got eight base tax. It's not bad. Eight compared to our... A lot. What do we What do we have right now? 44.7? And yeah, there, yeah. Was, there was someone who commented on every single one of my videos saying that we should conquer Serbia. And just, just <laughs> taking a look at it now, look at Serbia's allies. Oh, yeah. That's... <laughs> Why? Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Why doesn't he ally Valachia? Look at Valachia's hey. allies. Yeah, it's like um, someone had commented on, like, I think <laughs> two videos ago. One of the, Apparently, I say this all the time. Does anybody understand this game? Like, does anybody understand <laughs> this game at all? I mean, Serbia. Let's just say I'm the player of Serbia. You think I'm going to run with no allies? You're going to have Poland and Austria, and you're going to attack the Ottomans. It's stupid. It's absolutely stupid. Like, they should probably have... I mean, Austria might not have a relationship slot for them, but at least ally yourself with Hungary, Poland. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe even go for whoever the rivals. Like, Serbia could potentially ally the Mamluks. Because they be hate the Ottomans, yep. Exactly. Like, they should be trying to do that. But no, they're just going to sit there, and they're mm -hmm. going to wait for Get the Ottomans next. to come. Look, the Ottomans already have claims on Zeta, Kosovo, and, and Raska. So they're just waiting to be killed. So, do you think yeah. it's programmed that way because... <laughs> it's a means for the Ottomans to expand? No, I don't think that it's intentional to like no. help the Ottomans. I, I just think that the AI, and hold on, because Wiz might get mad here. I think the AI- Wiz, is, cover your ears. It's kind of stupid sometimes when it comes to allies. And, it's, and it all seems to have become this way with the, the changes to power projection and rivals. It, it, that's exactly when it happened, because now there's a modifier for your size of nations and your mm -hmm. military strength. And yep. these modifiers didn't exist before that change in rivals. So basically now it's difficult for a nation who's small, like Serbia or Wallachia, to get an alliance with someone who's big, like Hungary or Austria or Poland. Not that they do, don't like each other enough, but because now there's modifiers that you can actually see, and it'll say size of navy, size of army, and those actually affect their opinion of you, and it does affect whether or not they want to be your ally. If they're going to yep. go to war, they want to have a strong ally, not a weak ally. Yeah, and then the other thing as well is that Oftentimes, the only country that would make a good ally, they're forced to rival. Because mm. it, it's like, oh, hey, you two are about the same size and you're both the same religion and the Ottomans are right next to you. Well, you know, you should be allies, but no, you're going to be rivals. Yep. Totally. Yep. Makes sense. In this case, that's not happening, though. Like Serbia and Wallachia, they're not rivals, but they're still not allies. Yeah, well, Wallachia is like, what, nine base stacks? They're really tiny. Mm -hmm. Of course, Serbia is about that much as well. They have a lot of space, a lot of territory, but it's not good not land. Not valuable, yeah. Oh, they do have a gold right. mine, though. 
All right, by the way, we should probably unpause the game at some point. Don't you, you think? think? I don't know. Let's okay. just let's just no. Let's just <laughs> talk the whole this whole video. I wonder how much how much people would get upset if we just didn't unpause the game. Just do a video. A, just do a um. What are they called? Podcast. Yeah, a podcast. Podcast guy who's <laughs> lead developer for Hearts of Iron Four. Anyway, um, yeah. So, would you decide? Are we gonna break the relationship with Savoy or not? I think we should because we're gonna be we're gonna be going to war with his ally anyway, and that'll break the alliance anyway. Might as well do it now, and okay, uh, free up the relationship slot. Do you know? Does being over the relationship slot discourage um, the AI from interacting with you? Like, do they just avoid talking to you because you're over the limit? Yeah, yeah. Like, if you've ever been below the relationship limit, you'll get flooded with offers. alliance offers yeah. and royal marriages. But if you're at it, they'll never talk uh -oh. to you. Influenza in Rome. Local trade minus 100%. Goods produced minus 50. Local tax minus 50. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, so you get all the events this time, huh? Ah, I did. Um, I got. I got. The, I think in the last episode last time because we had to rehost. Remember? Yeah, but I think in the last episode I had all of them too. What's up with that? Because I, I, I don't know. Host, I hosted the game. Damn it! Hey, the Ottomans declared war on Wallachia. No way. Subjugation. Say, subjugation. That means that they got an event. Has or the they mission got, uh, vassalized Wallachia. I hate that mission. <laughs> it's like the only way you get a, a Cassus Belly to subjugate another country is via via mission. So, did you want to fabricate on Siena now, or wait a little bit? If we do it now, we could incur a ton of aggressive expansion if we get caught. But they are a rival, so we have a less chance of yeah, getting caught. Exactly. They're a rival, which which actually... I don't remember what campaign it was, but I was looking at the efficiency of... Um, yeah, of uh, of your spy... Spy stuff? Like... Spy stuff. Okay, like, if you look at, you look at the diplomacy tab, and you hover over the little guy with the... You know, the black thing over his eye and you actually look at your efficiency yeah um i was i was comparing the likelihood of getting caught without the spy efficiency advisor to when you have the spy spy efficiency advisor and it's it's huge this it's hugely significant just having 10 percent extra spy efficiency reduces the chance of getting caught by like 80 percent yeah it's very impressive how significant but it is do we have the spy offense guy we do yeah we do right now yeah. I think let's go for it then. Yeah, sure. Of course, that means we won't have any diplomats for a long time. It only takes one year to fabricate. Yeah. So, yeah, we're uh, one below our army force limit. We have... Oh, there's a question. Half, Do you know, does spy efficiency increase or decrease the amount of time it takes to fabricate a claim? Or just the chance of getting caught? It doesn't decrease it. But there is Darn. an idea in the influence. I think it is. Was it influence? Do you One see of this them... pop up? We discovered an agent. Tuscany's fabricating on us. Uh huh. Crazy bastards. It's fine. They can declare yeah. if they want. Their allies are crap. Yep. So it's the second influence idea that gives you time to fabricate claims minus thirty-three. So what do we do about uh, Ferrante Scanabecchi? Do you want to turn him into a general and get him killed and hope for a strong claim there? That's well, what he's I would got. Do. He's got eight points, which is less than our air. We would lose stability if he dies in combat, but we're gonna lose one stability no matter what. I think he's he's crap enough. Although no, he's six, he's six administrative. I don't mean our king. I mean our heir, because our heir oh, is gonna our heir is gonna be of age to be a general very soon. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And he has weak claim. So if he dies, what's the worst that could happen? We get another weak claim. True. Yeah. Two, four, three. It's basically average. Nine, mm -hmm. nine administrative, nine monarch points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd be for that. It'd be really neat if mousing over his age or whatever would tell you what month he comes of age. I'm gonna lower maintenance. I know you want to lower revolt risk, but the likelihood of rebellion in Roma and Ancona is like none. It's very low. We've been several months and it's still zero percent progress. It's kind of interesting mm -hmm. that rebel progress is randomized. Like why? Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we get to hang out at negative three for a while, huh? Uh. <laughs> what's, why are you, what's so funny? Because what? you thought I was talking about killing our king as making him a general, and he wound up dying like the next month anyway. Hey, check out that Regency Council dice it's, roll. It's a great Regency. Yeah, one zero. zero. Uh, you know, if we were France, if we were. It'd be a five be a six, six five. Exactly. Yeah. So, um. 
Rise, oh, of a, rise of a pretender. We're going to have two rebels in Calabria. Can you up the funding, please? Um, waiting to see when our air guard comes of age. Regency ends 7 October of 64. So only five months of Regency. Mm -hmm. By the way, yeah. we're at negative three stability. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> um, negative two is bearable. Negative one, or sorry, negative three. I don't know about that. Well, when's the cores going to come in? Cores are almost done. Let them finish. It'll make stability mm -hmm. cheaper. And hey, look. Um... <laughs> Well, no. Our era is still the same guy. Never mind. All right, I'm ready when you are. Yeah. Um, where's, the, where's the rebellion? In Calabria, where we're currently sieging. So just send the army down there and get the funding up. Yeah, it's hills. Okay. I'll we... just let the pop-up sit here so we can get our morale back. We're going to want a general, I think. You think so? For this fight. Yeah, because... It's just two, two, two regiments. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, if it's only two, never mind. I thought I was more than that. That's really surprisingly small. That's what she said. So, <laughs> would you like 10 prestige or 32 ducats? Uh, 10 prestige, personally. Okay. I used to, I would never say that, never. But prestige is actually hard to get these days. Is it? Well, yeah. if you're not going to be going to war, yeah. Even at war, like, you barely get anything from combat anymore. You used to be able to get, like, five prestige for, for each fight. Our army organizer has died. You okay if we hire a fort defense guy? He's the only level one available. Yeah, I was just about to do it. Gosh, our our points are so bad with this Regency. 733. <laughs> just terrible. Yeah, at least it's only until October. All right, I'm going to spawn the rebels. Yeah. Hey, look, there's uh, Siena's peasants. We oh, can I assume control of their siege. He's got no army. <laughs> oh, goodness. Can you imagine how much AE would have for taking that land from the Empire? If we, I mean, if we took... All we need is Siena, Ferenz, and then the vassalization of Milan. Hey, Rome has cord. Well, do you want to up our stability? Cost 80. Oh, yeah, that's cheap. Yeah, probably. Okay, go for it. Well, I don't know. We could do ideas, Jen. Yeah, but we're actually getting rebel progress now. We're at 10% on two of them. Hey, we accept Umbrian. That's nice. We finished Lachia. a mission to defeat rebels. And the vassals. Valachia was vassalized. I see. Poor Valachia. All right, I'm going to up the stability by one. Ooh, look at that. Check out that mission. Oh, what a nice mission. It's almost, it's halfway there too. All right, stability up. I don't think we need to go any higher, though, because we have no revolt risk anymore. Oh, yeah, getting those cores in helped a lot, didn't it? Yeah, we have 0.2% in Roma. All right. Ferrante Shkanabeki, and we have no air. Yeah. Oh. We do have a relationship slot available now. Welcome to 17 legitimacy. Ooh. Um, we lost our royal marriage with Austria. I see that. Do you want to get that back? They won't accept right now. Hmm. I think we just have to stay at peace for a little while. Declaring on scene. We'll, we'll just we'll fabricate the claim, but let's not declare for a while. Cool our jets. Looming disaster. Uh-oh. I see that. Because we have negative stability. But it's going up very slowly. Yeah. All right. Well, that's fine with me. I didn't even know it could go up that slowly. Currently at 0 0.5 progress. Oh, oh, oh. What is this? The Tiger of Forli, Katarina Sforza, a powerful ruler with passion for hunting, warfare, and alchemy. She left her children in the care... Do you not see this? No. She left her children in the care of Osiris to persuade the Castilian... Blah, 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 blah. Is this some book or something? <laughs> she has shown both... It's, it's a huge paragraph. She has shown both military and economical prowess by controlling oh. her realm spending and dealing with the person in the training of her militia. Hire her as a treasurer... Uh, she will serve as a commandant or leave her to rule in peace. Either we gain prestige or we get to choose an advisor. These are stupid. I guess we take that's prestige. A, that's a woman in his, Women in Histories event from oh. that free, free DLC. The, so the commandant's the discipline advisor. Do you want 5% discipline advisor? It's a level 2. I don't want to hire a level 2 anything. Yeah, take the prestige. Screw the woman. I yeah. mean, not, not literally. Well, that too. Come on. Um, I think after we get this claim, we should change our diplomatic advisor to better relations over time guy. Definitely. So there were level one available. Oh, there is. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's yeah. nice. I love the morale of navies. That's really just not what a very horrible. Helpful. I don't think I've ever hired him. If it was like plus 50%, I'd be down. But plus 10% just doesn't seem any worth it. 
All right, are we actually um, embargoing all of our rivals? Serbia, Papal State. Wait, we rivaled Serbia? Oh, we did. Yeah, we need to um, embargo Siena. Okay, well, Diplomat will be back very soon. And... Oh, Byzantine refugees, what a good event. Yeah, spend, I like that one. Spend 50 Diplo and 30 admin. Yep. Cheaper tech for 30 years. So Always. good. Yes. So good. Now, who do you have to be to get that event? I, I think it goes down like a number of countries. Like it, it tries one country and if they don't accept, then it goes to another country. Like somebody's going to accept the refugees, I think. I could be wrong. But, but doesn't it happen to multiple nations? It could. Like it can get accepted multiple times. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. We could we could cheat. Can we cheat? <laughs> Let's cheat. Load up some other countries and see. All right, I'm embargoing Siena. Do we want to take um, incorporate Sicily since we're doing it already, or is that too long? Mm, what's the bonus? Oh, by the way, before we finish incorporating Sicily, do we want to attack the knights? Yes, I think we should. They Don't have that core. To? Yeah. That is going to be like almost no aggressive expansion. It's too far away from from anyone else to, to even matter. Yeah. And France will join. Venice won't. Now is an ideal time to do it. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, France will take care of Genoa. Um, you do ready? it right now? Yeah, Yeah, I think we're it. ready right now. Sure, why not? The only um, thing that's going to be difficult is actually getting troops down there. Yeah. Like, how many ships does does, does Naples have? Not Naples. The Knights. <laughs> I think that uh, France will actually have a transport. Yeah, they've got six transports. They'll probably do it. Oh, that's easy then. Well, I'm the going to give them the objective. Two ships. <laughs> do we have transports? You know, what we need is um, we should we should peace out Genoa for war reparations because they're. Wait, why are we not blockading? Or why are we not using our trade fleet? Oh, because we're at war, of course. Genoa has nine ships total. We can sink that. Well, France will take care of it. You don't want the prestige? I guess it doesn't matter. There's so little prestige from combat anymore. I don't know that it's worth it. Poland... Siena collapsed to rebels. Yep. Not that it matters, because you can't increase autonomy in the capital, and that's the only thing those rebels can do, is increase autonomy. The only mission that we have available is take Siena. You mind if I use our diplomat to improve relations with Castile? Because we're only at 74. I do, I can't believe you'd ask that. It's <laughs> completely unreasonable. Hey, look, an army from Genoa. Let's kill it. Well, let them land first. Well, Let's yeah. Let's go say hi. You know what? I was thinking maybe we shouldn't have to have increased our stability. We could have turned our, our stupid little king into a general, let him go die in combat, lose the negative two stability, and we're already negative three. It doesn't matter. And then well, we do you still want to turn him into a guy or not? That's no. what I was thinking. I don't I don't know if we should. The next kid we get could be a strong claim, right? Yeah. But we don't want to have a 15-year Regency Council. That's true. All right. Yeah, let's just skip it. No. Oh, our, our only mission available is to take Sienna. <laughs> I, I just said that. Do you... I don't listen you, to anything you say, Rumba. You, you, know zone, you zone me out pretty, pretty easily. I can there's, tell. There's pretty colors on the screen. Look at yeah. these flashing numbers. We just killed 115 troops. Oh, it was fantastic. You know, I really do. I like the uh, color. We lost a sea battle. Why are we losing sea battles, Roomba? We have one boat that's patrolling by itself because it's too stupid to go merge up with the others. <laughs> it's like, screw you guys. I'm going to create my own fleet with blackjack and hookers. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, France is actually going to drop troops in Rhodes. That's fantastic. Yeah, well, I told them to... Rhodes? Yeah. He's not going to Malta. What? Rhodes? Where's so, Rhodes? Rhodes, uh, just off Mentesi from the Ottomans. It's the knight's capital. Remember the Colossus of Rhodes? Oh, oh, right. I forgot that they even had that. I thought that Malta was their capital. I thought that oh. Ottomans already ate them, but no. Mm -hmm. Ottomans usually just ignore Rhodes for like the whole game. Sometimes they'll take it. But the problem with Rhodes is it's a level four fort. And France only sent a few guys with um, no... Yeah, the general has no siege. And they don't have cannons yet, so it's going to take forever. Well, do we want to train a single transport just to to get down to Malta? 
I think we should, because that fort's easier to siege than, than Rhodes. Malta's only, what, a level 3? Plus we have one force limit available, so... Oh, Malta's only level 2. Easy peasy. Alright, we're training a boat. A boat. Alright, um, should we just call it here and come back? Because this I is... I think so. This is pretty exciting here. Oh, Milan's government changed. Yeah, so we have a CB against him. To do what now? To change his government back to a monarchy. He switched we do to an Ambrosian Republic. Can we do anything else with that, or is it specific, like, the only thing you get discount on is changing their government? We don't need a discount if you want to vassalize him. His cost is 80. Uh, but if we attack him directly, would it be better to attack him directly or Siena? Really no difference, is there? If we attack Siena, we'd have to call Milan as a co-belligerent. True, yeah. The, the, reason the... We were, the reason we were talking about Siena is we need it to form Italy, but also because declaring on Siena would get us into a war with Milan. We had no way to form a CB. Well, this is our CB. Um, but doing this, I mean, our aggressive expansion is already out there. Oh, by, by the way, speaking of aggressive Wait a expansion, oh. change to better relations over time, guy. Ah, good point, yes. Just well, why don't we talk about this a little bit? We'll come back next time and see if maybe we'll declare on Naples. Or not on Naples, on Milan. <laughs> declare on Naples. Yes, <laughs> declare war on ourselves. I All declare right. war on you, Rumba. It's a fight for power. That would be fun, actually. <laughs> take, the, take the army and put two... You know, on either side, make them fight each other. I get anyway. the navy. All right. See you soon. See you soon. Bye.